Well, it's pleasant outside. Cooling off in the evening time, so I figured it's time to save seeds. Here we go. Gonna save some seeds for the collard greens. So my tools of the trade is gonna be some tape and a pen. Go back and mark the jar. So I'm gonna save them in the jar. A Ziploc bag, I got a gallon size Ziploc bag just to make it easier to collect the seeds in. And a pair of scissors. So let's just go ahead and see if I can get back here past where the garden has grown over a lot and get back to where this vines have completely taken over my collard greens. That's okay. This, the vines are annoying. They're not really a showstop. I don't even know what kind of plant it is. But here we go. We got all these thousands of seed pods we now can access and put in our Ziploc bag. Let's see if I can just open it like this. Let's set our Ziploc off to the side. And now, I'm just going to try and get some of these branches. Each one of these branches has got a ton of seeds on it, so I'll just snip me one off. And each one of these, I think I had 15 seeds last time I broke some of these off and checked it out. I'm just gonna oh, got my hand in the way doing this one handed so I'll just shove these in here. So we're just gonna essentially break off and stick them in our I'll be somewhat gentle with these if possible but because they're gonna be spraying seeds everywhere when you're doing this. It's got so many, I don't care if I lose a few hundred from being less gentle than I should be. Because, you know, I'm gonna get so many seeds that it's gonna be a lot anyways. Um, if you really wanted to take your time, snip them off with the scissors and crunch them down and save as many of these pods as possible you'd really end up with a lot. That's what collard green seeds, this would be enough for an example. Let's go see what we got here. The hassle with collard greens, I'm also gonna do the same thing with uh, my uh, cabbage, is that they're um, biannual plants, so they take them a long time before they get a seed. So this is the reason why I wanted to have a Ziploc. So now I got them all ziplocked up. Now, I can crunch these up in here with my hands. I can break these seed pods up. And you see all the seeds that come down to the bottom? See how well it zooms. That's just with a rough breaking them up. It's probably some more in in these. But like I said, the seeds are tiny, and you really only depends on how many you plan on getting. I want a decent amount. I wait on to save collard greens for seeds for a while because it takes so long to get. But now shake that down and all this useless chaff I can just take that right out of there useless chaff and I need to get a better camera set up but maybe some people like the rawness of this way of doing things I didn't want all that chaff in there. Let's see. Get some of that chaff out of there. I'm 
almost got the chaff out. I'm just pulling some. It's not going to be 100% clean. But there we go. That's probably hundreds of seeds right there. The seeds are super tiny and it's enough to fill up this jar. I can slap the, this on there. It's labeled and I got enough probably to last me a couple of years worth, depending on how many I get. I want more seeds than that, so I'm going to go back and get some more. I'm not having to hold the camera at the same time. Then I'm going to move on. So I got four jars for this. That way I can get some kale. I can get some, uh, some uh, the other one I really wanted was a cabbage. I wanted to save my own cabbage seeds. Anyways, this is quick down dirty on easy way to save collard greens. I was able to do it one handed and now I have plenty of seeds unless you're going to have to start your own farm. But with that big old mass over there, I could probably fill this jar up with seeds. So I do want more than that. So I'll come back in a minute.